I need a lawyer. Lewis's office is down the hall. I don't want Lewis. I want you. That's funny. The last time you saw me, you told me I wasn't fit to practice law in your ivory tower. What I told you was is that you'll sacrifice ethics for wins. And right now, I'm not in my ivory tower. And I need a win. I knew it. You're just like everybody else. The ends don't justify the means until it's your ass on the line. Do you think I like asking you for help? I think this Liberty Rail thing must have you by the balls. So you know. I know after their train derailed, you were appointed to assess the victim's compensation formula. And I know after you did, some of those victims hired a lawyer and opened an investigation. Then you also know they found nothing. Then the question is, why are you here? The TSA found $25,000 in my luggage the day I announced I was changing the formula. So now you're being accused of accepting a bribe. Which I did not do. Well, good luck proving that, Professor, because it won't be with my help. I was wrong about you, Mr. Spector. I never thought that you wouldn't represent somebody just because you didn't like them. Well, you're wrong again. I don't like you, but I'm not representing you because you did something shady, and I'm not screwing over crash victims for the likes of you. You know I didn't do this. What I know is you showed yourself in, you could show yourself out. I agreed to meet. I hope it's not just so you can tell me more about what a horrible person I am. I came here to tell you that I changed my mind. So you admitted to yourself that I didn't do this? I've admitted to myself that you came to me because this case needs rule bending, and you're going to tell me why right now. The money. Yes, the money. If you weren't bribed, where the hell did you get that $25,000 from? You know where it came from. It's the same thing you tried to use to blackmail me last year. Let me get this straight. You have an explanation for the money that would get you out of this whole thing. But I can't use it. Where are you going? To get you out of this. Welcome to the real world, Professor. Go over it one more time, Professor. How much money was in that pot? I'm tired of going over it. Why do we have to keep replaying every moment of this game? Because your entire case depends on it? My case depends on the fact that I won that money gambling. Not whether I won it with a flush. Your case depends on the judge believing you, and if he finds any holes in your testimony, then I we... gave you the names of everyone I knew at that game. But none of those men were there when you won that money. I can't help it if I didn't get the name of the guy I beat. Which is why your story needs to be rock solid. OK. Go ahead. So I ask you again, Professor, how much money was in the final pot? Roughly $12,000. And you won that hand? As I said before, I won. And then I cashed out. And what did you have again? A queen high flush. And who did you beat? I told you I didn't get his name. OK, so what did he have? Two pair, queens over sixes. Wait a second. You said before that the man next to you folded with two queens up, and now this guy has two queens, and you had a queen high flush? I said that the man next to me folded with two kings. No, you didn't. You heard me wrong. No, I didn't. Is this part of prepping me? Or are you accusing me of something? I'm trying to get your story to line up. My story does line up. Not to me, it doesn't. Look, young man, if you're going to sit over there and call me a liar. I'm not calling you a liar. But if you say tomorrow what you said today, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because where I come from, there are only four queens in a deck. I said two kings. And I'm going to say that again tomorrow. So you do your job. And I'm going to do mine. He's lying. What are you talking about? Gerard's story about winning all that money playing poker is bullshit. All right, slow down. What the hell happened? I did the math, and the hands don't add up. What do you mean you did the math? I mean, first he said that he drew a queen on 4th Street, and then when I pressed him about it, he Wait a second. This conclusion is based on him recalling hands under cross-examination. Harvey, I got kicked out of Atlantic City for counting cards. I know this shit. Doesn't mean he's lying. I got a little experience with that, too, and I'm telling you, he was. Or maybe he's tired. Or maybe I'm right. Or maybe you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why are you defending him? Because you asked me to. Look, Harvey, I'm not saying that he took a bribe. I'm just saying that he didn't get that money playing poker. Well, unless he admitted that, he's testifying tomorrow. Since when do you stick your head in the sand? Did he admit it? No, he didn't. But he screwed up the details, and he shouldn't have. Because people who are telling the truth get it right. And you know it. What? 
What's that? Jacks full of fours. I can see that. But why? Why is it staring you in the face? It's what I threw down the last time I won a huge hand. It was six weeks ago, and I can remember every hand that every player at that table had. Now, if you won money the other night, you'd remember it too. I do remember. And as I explained to your associate... Yeah, stop bullshitting me. Where the hell did that money really come from? Because if you don't tell me the truth, I'm canceling that hearing right now. It came from a student of mine. For what? In exchange for changing his grade. Jesus Christ, for $25,000? He was going to fail my class, and that would have stopped him from getting an offer from You goddamn hypocrite. You preach about ethics and you do this? This is about ethics. And you don't have any idea why I did it. I don't care why you did it. I care about what you're making me do because I'm not suborning perjury. Well, you tell me that you've never done anything worse. I knew it. You would do it for someone else. For me. You know what, Professor? There's a small part of me that actually thought that you came to me because you thought I'm the best. But you just think I'll do whatever it takes to win. Isn't that what makes you the best? Get someone else to do your dirty work because I'm not supporting perjury. 